All right, let's jump right in. Have you ever really stopped to think about what it takes to build a company on the absolute bleeding edge of technology and then take it public? I mean, we're not talking about just another app. We're talking about a deep dive into the world of deep tech, a journey that goes all the way to the NASDAQ. Today, we're going to unpack a founder story that is pretty incredible. And this really gets to the heart of it. Look, taking any company public is a massive challenge, but doing it in a field as mind-bendingly complex and futuristic as quantum computing, that's a whole other ballgame. It takes a completely different level of vision and, frankly, guts. And we get a front row seat to see how it all went down. Okay, so let's get into the journey itself. We're talking about a real high-wire act here, navigating the high-stakes world of modern entrepreneurship, where the pressure is just immense and the technology is basically science fiction becoming reality. You know, what's so cool about this is that we get to pull back the curtain. We're not just getting the glossy official story. Nope, we're getting a real raw look from the founder himself all the tough calls, the unexpected problems, and the huge hurdles that you usually never get to hear about. All right, let's meet the key players in this whole saga. Because, you know, every great story needs its heroes. And in this case, we've got a truly visionary founder and the incredible company he built from the ground up. So, first up, at the very center of it all, is Fawad Makbul. He's the founder, the CEO. The company is Ampla Tech Group. You can find it under the ticker AMPG. And the stage for all this? The big one, the NASDAQ Stock Exchange. And I gotta tell you, this is not your average tech startup. Amplitech is playing in the big leagues, right on the bleeding edge of science. We're talking super advanced amplifiers and the really mind-blowing part, the world of quantum computing. Okay, I know when you hear quantum computing, it can sound super complicated, maybe a little intimidating, right? But let's break it down real simple. Think of it like a brand new way of thinking for a computer. It uses the weird, wild rules of quantum physics to solve problems that are just impossible for the computers we have now. Even the biggest supercomputers on the planet can't touch them. And this isn't just some theory stuck in a lab somewhere. This stuff is poised to change, well, pretty much everything. Medicine, finance, AI, you name it. So when you build a company in this field, you're not just being ambitious, you're literally making a bet on the future of, well, everything. Which brings us right back to the main question, the heart of this whole thing. How in the world do you take an idea that is this futuristic, this complex, and actually turn it into a company that real people can buy stock in? I mean, that's the real puzzle, isn't it? It's one thing to have a genius idea in a laboratory. It's a completely different thing to build a real, sustainable business around it, let alone a public one. It's a journey, and it has some really clear, crucial steps. You can almost picture it, right? It all starts with that spark moment, that amazing breakthrough. Then you've got the build, which can take years, just grinding it out in the lab to make the tech actually work. After that, it's the climb navigating the world of investors and regulations. And then finally, you get to ring the bell. What a moment that must be. So what can we actually learn from all this? Because this is way more than just a cool story. It's basically a masterclass packed full of insights for anyone out there who's trying to build something new. So you get the founder's own personal story, right? The human element of it all. Then there's the actual strategy. I mean, how do you even build a deep tech company from the ground up? You also get these incredible insights into navigating that whole maze of going public. And maybe most importantly, you hear about the biggest challenges they faced and the crucial lessons they learned the hard way. And this is a great way to think about it. For a traditional business, there's usually a path to follow, right? You're not the first person to open a coffee shop. But for a deep tech venture like Amplitech, they're basically explorers in uncharted territory. There was no map, a playbook for what they were doing. They had to draw the map themselves as they went. So what's the big takeaway here? This whole story is really a powerful briefing on pure ambition and innovation. It's about what it really takes to operate where these crazy science fiction ideas actually meet Wall Street. And here's the wild part. We're talking about a journey that took years, decades of work, really, from a tiny spark in a lab all the way to ringing that bell on the NASDAQ floor. But all of that wisdom, all those powerful lessons, they're packed into just a few minutes. Just stop and think about that for a second. The entire multi-year story, from a single idea all the way to the floor of the stock exchange, 
all laid out. Grasping that whole journey gives you this super concentrated dose of what it actually takes to build the future. And that really leaves you with something to think about, doesn't it? In a world where we're just drowning in information, sometimes the most powerful lessons are the most focused ones. So the real question is, what incredible thing could you learn in less than half an hour? <laughs>